those real? God, they must have heard. So, are you guys on tour? Yeah, we're just finishing up. Uh, I managed without a charity gig would be good for PR, but it seems pretty dead around here. This is some kind of church orphanage or something, isn't it? Where is everybody? Well, the nuns took all the kids to the camp, except me and my brother. So how come you lucked out? Well, we just got here last night. We had to wait for some unfinished paperwork or something. Check it out. Hey, what's with those guys? Oh, they're all right. Hey, it's been a long tour. What do you want? Just my dancing. I'm pretty good, you know. Dancer, huh? Topless? No, classical. It's Marley, right? Right. So, Marley, what's the deal with your brother? Well, it's been hard on Jeffrey and me. He just doesn't understand. Like he stares into space, like he's waiting for something. Bizarre. Let me see that violin. I said, let me see that violin. Kid's a retard. Just take the damn thing from him. Leave him alone. What's with you? I'm just have a little fun with the retard and all. Yeah, we're just playing with him. Play with yourself, asshole. Ooh, big talker. Maybe you got something we could play with. Oh, in your dreams. You okay, Jeffrey? You all right? Ah, forget her and the retard. We need a reverse. What a bunch of idiots. I wish someone would teach them a lesson. Okay, guys. I don't want to be here the rest of my life. Let's burn.
There, there, child. You feel better now? Sister Marion, is that you? Mm-hmm. Gosh, everything seems so blurry. Yes, it's me, dear. Doctor says your vision should clear up in a few days. Other than that, is anything else wrong? No. Yeah. I guess I'm all right. Sister, um... Does God hate me? Am I cursed? Oh, don't be ridiculous, Marley. God loves you. Except for his grace, you and your brother both could have been killed. Well, then why is this happening? I just don't understand it. My cat, where's Pie Wacket? She's fine. I just saw her flitting around in the hallway. I'll bring her in to you later. Come on. I keep thinking I dreamt it all. No, it was all very real. Such a tragedy. What were you thinking of? You weren't supposed to be at that rehearsal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just been very hard on all of us. We'll talk later. And your brother, bless his soul, is just fine. He's been very concerned about you. Oh, by the way, I've called for your sister. She's going to be here any minute now. She's not my sister. She's my stepsister. Oh, yes, 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 stepsister. Well, anyway, she is on her way with a specialist. And uh, I've made arrangements for them to stay here until you're back on your feet. Hmm? Oh, I wish you wouldn't have done that. She doesn't care about me. She's a money-grubbing witch. <laughs> now who's being a witch? Oh, Molly. Are you all right? I've been worried sick. Oh, stuff it, Rosalind. Why are you really here? I'm here because of you. It's so horrible what's happened. First Daddy and, and now this. I don't know how you cope. Well, thanks for the support. Now, will you please leave? That's not very nice, Marley. I only want to take care of you. Yeah, right. Me and my inheritance. <clears throat> Marley, this is Dr. Lasky. He's very well respected in his field, and I've asked him to take charge here, if that's all right with you, sister. How do you do? We appreciate your concern, but we do have a very fine doctor, Dr. Lewis, who's been with us for many years. Now, he's already examined Marley. Well, I'm, I'm sure that's fine and good, but Dr. Lasky is a specialist, and I just can't hear of my sister having anything less. Perhaps we could leave and, and give them some privacy. I want very much to see poor Jeffrey. Certainly. I love you, Marley. All right, now, come on. Sit up. Come on. You just relax. You're in good hands. How can you put up with that witch? Well, now, that's not a very nice thing to say. My sister just wants to take care of you. Look after your well-being. Yeah. How are you feeling? Oh, great. I'm lying in bed, I'm practically blind, and my conniving sister shows up with you. How do you think I feel? Well, it certainly doesn't seem to have affected your mouth. Oh, look. I do know this must be very upsetting for you. Oh, you need some rest. So I am going to give you something to make you sleep. All right. Now, don't you worry. Everything is going to be fine. Now you just relax. Huh. Yes, now, lie back. Yeah, everything will be fine. Don't worry. Just relax. We'll take care of everything. seems to be deteriorating. Poor soul. You know, she's been this way for years. But at least she continues to eat. Small miracles. Well, sometimes that's all we can ask for. Asia. Sister. 
yesterday. Can you hear me? It's been a long time. I had to come back. Christian. Some doctor making me wait for him here when he knows the sun is horrendous for my complexion. You still look fabulous, though. Line here, there, what does it matter? Keep getting better. Who am I trying to kid? Looking old and decrepit. Nonsense. You look beautiful. And besides, when you are immersed in riches, who will care? What do you mean, who will care? You'll be off as some 18-year-old gymnast, leaving me to rot? <laughs> oh, you're just upset. So relax. Everything is going according to plan. How soon do the drugs start taking effect? It's Rosalind. I am the doctor. I just can't believe I was left out of the will. What was Daddy thinking of? Well, perhaps he was thinking of all those wonderful things you never did for him. After all, you were a little bit of a spoiled brat now, weren't you? Oh, shut up. It doesn't matter what I was. I was his daughter. I was the first. It's not fair. And then he married that slut Marley's mother, two years younger than me. Come on now. Settle down. Well, she was no good, no breeding, a bad bloodline. You... <sighs> that idiot son they produced. You're beginning to whine. Well, I'm left with nothing. But Rosalind, you are soon going to be in control of everything. Now, you must trust me that drugs will work. They're not going to hurt her, are they? No. Right? You've promised you won't hurt her. Yes. Now, stop worrying. No, you're going to make yourself ill. <sighs> I know, I just... Now, come on. Now, come on. I'm going to take you to meet someone who will ensure our future. We already had a deal. Oh, I want you to meet Rosalind. Uh, hello. Uh, Rosalind, this gentleman is going to help us. As long as you've got cash. Well, you have some interesting pieces. Did you make them yourself? What does he have to do with us? See, I have persuaded Roger to assist us in our quest to have Marley relinquish that which is rightfully yours. You haven't I, Roger? Leave me alone. See, uh, Roger has a uh, most particular imagination. We have sort of a variation of themes. What does that mean? Shall I tell her? Or will you? Please. See, I do think the good sisters might be a smidge put out to discover that their trusty handyman had a penchant for, uh... You son! <laughs> oh, no, no, don't be put out. Don't be upset. No, I understand. Perfectly. I mean, we all have our, uh, little secrets. Don't we, dear? Whatever you say, darling. Have you got everything you need? Told you, I'll take care of it. Just don't get caught. No one's gonna catch me. I know this place better than anyone. There's ways in and out of these rooms that no one else knows about. Good. 
Just don't double-cross me. Lasky? You see, my dear? Everything's under control, just like I promised. It's just as long as she doesn't get hurt. That's right, isn't it, Lasky? Yes, of course that's right. Mia, yeah, trust me. Don't worry. I mean, after all, we don't want any more of those horrid little worry lines, now do we? Stop it. We're so beautiful. Who are you? My name is Sister Asia. But who are you? I've never heard your voice before. I thought all the children were gone. I'm Jeffrey. What happened to your eyes? I know you. You're the brother of that young girl. Marley. So tell me, Jeffrey. Why are you playing your violin in this empty room? You should play for someone to hear. He likes it. He? Is there someone else in the room? There's no one else here. I think you should go back to your room now. It's late and probably past your bedtime. But I want to play. Be a good boy and do as I say. All right. Good night, child. Maybe tomorrow you'll come play for me. That would be nice. Who's there? for their little plan, huh? Me. Pompous asshole doctor. What a jerk. And that woman of his, she'd steal dead bugs from a blind spider. Who do they think they are? Someone should take him. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Oh, here. Daddy'll fix it. Fix everything. There, see? Fix everything. There. There you go. Huh. Scare the little girl, huh? I'll scare her, all right. Right out of her pants. Yeah, I'll scare her. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. You would like that. Ha 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 
You'd like it. <laughs> I told you to stay in bed. We wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. Look, there was something in the studio. Something? What do you mean, something? I don't know. Maybe it wasn't real. Oh, this must sound crazy. It sounds like you're hallucinating. These are latent manifestations of anxiety. It all stems from the accident. Look, I was there. Um, I saw something. Yes. Look, my dear. Tell me now, is your eyesight any better? No. Hmm. Well, I'm going to give you something to make you sleep. She needs her rest. No more shots. I feel fine. I'm not sick. Now what are you giving me? It's just a mild sedative. Marley, I'm sure the doctor knows what's best. You do seem a little agitated. I don't need rest. Mm. I need to, to see. I need to dance. And yes, of course you do. Me uh, everything is... Going to be just fine. You're going to feel so much better in just a little while. Oh, the sister. Sisters, I uh, I need your help. Now, I am depending upon you to make sure that she stays in bed. I'd hate to have to hold you responsible if anything should happen to her. Is there something you haven't told me? Well, unfortunately. I'm afraid she might have been hurt a good deal more than we originally thought. She is suffering from acute anxiety. You can see it by the way she's acting. Yes, of course, it's obvious. I'll do everything I can. Oh, sister. Sister, you are indeed a good woman. Poor Marley. You know, sometimes it takes years to recover from a shock like this. We'll pray for her. Take away the evil. Please. Watch over the children. They are so young. Thou Lord in heaven. Please tell me why. Why now? Have I failed you in some way? Have I not given of myself? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. I beg of you, this must stop.
Are you in here? She's been out now. In a couple of hours. Shouldn't we take her to a hospital? She's in good hands, sister. She'll be fine. You see, she's coming around already. Now, welcome back to the land of the living. My legs. Just be calm. You have a sprain at your right ankle. You may have torn a muscle. Now, this time, you have to listen to me. You must stay off your feet for a week and no dancing. But if you do, you may never dance again. I can't stop dancing. Now, Marley, you'd better listen to what the doctor says. If you followed his orders in the first place, none of this ever would have happened. Now, you're just lucky you didn't break your neck. God was watching out for you. God? God doesn't care about me or Jeffrey. If he did, we wouldn't even be here. You're just upset. God loves you. Yeah, well, if that's love, I'll find it someplace else. Harley, how can you say such a thing? You're talking crazy. How are your eyes? Can you see yet? Not totally. But you know that mirror in the dance studio? I could see that clearly. Could you bring it in here? <laughs> Big old ugly thing? I can't explain it. There's something about it. it. Makes me feel good. Kind of reassuring, like a friend. It'll make you feel better. I'll see what I can do. Maybe I can get Dr. Lasky to help me. We agreed no one was to be hurt. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not stupid. What's the matter with you? Are you an imbecile? Hurting her that way, you could have killed her. Look, honey, I haven't done anything yet. I wasn't even near her. So buzz off. Let me make one thing perfectly clear. You're being paid a huge amount of money, so you do exactly as you're told. I want control. I don't want her hurt. 
You're the boss lady. Yes, well, let me make one thing else clear. Dr. Lasky hired you, not me. Sorry about this. I have a $900 suit. I... Oh, my goodness. Mama. I... Are you okay? No, I'm not. I need my bag. Oh, this is my bag. Oh, God. Oh. My God. Word. Mirrors. <laughs> Vanity is its own evil. Nicolette. Poor Nicolette. Ah. 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 Hey. Ah. 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 Lord, give me strength. I will fight you. As God is my witness, you will not do this again. Ah. Oh, God. <laughs> you will not win. We will defeat you. you get in here? Who are you? I'm Christian. I mean, that's my name, Christian. What are you doing here? Um, I heard you crying. Oh, I'm sorry. So do you always walk in the girls' bedrooms at night? Uh, no, not usually. But tonight I'm hunting down old ghosts and demons. Here in the church. Uh, this place and I, we got a long, long history together. Besides, um, I got some unfinished business here. Oh, sounds serious. Well, I'm fresh out of demons, but there's this crow I'd like to introduce you to. I'm Marley Colton. Hello, Marley. Oh, no, don't get up. Oh, that's real funny. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just, uh... You seem so familiar to me. So what happened to you? So what didn't happen to me? Oh, come on. It can't be that bad, can it? The last few days have been horrible. My parents were just killed in a car crash. And I can't see clearly. Just today, I fell off of a ladder and I hurt my legs. And I'm a dancer. My whole life is dancing. Doctor says I may never dance again. Ah, uh, doctors. All those guys know about is drugs. You just gotta believe. There's more to heaven and earth than any man will ever know. Anything you want. You just gotta believe. Right. Did you see that in the movie? Christian? Christian? Who are you talking to, dear? There was a boy here. He said his name was Christian. I turned away for a second and he was gone. You must have seen him. There was no one here. I'm telling you, there was someone here. Marley, no one was here. Now, you're beginning to worry me. Well, doctor said it would be a while before you recover. 
You're feeling all right? Yes, I'm fine. But I'm telling you there was someone here. A Christian. Yes. Uh, here. Up, up, up. You know, we had a boy here named Christian a few years back. Sad story. His mother, uh, Nicolette Chandler, Asia used to call her Nikki. She was very troubled when she first came here. And then she died. And he was no more than a baby. We raised him for a while. Mm -hmm. yeah, he was very talented, but a real troublemaker. Well, what happened to him? Oh, he had to follow his dreams. One day, he just up and disappeared. He was like that, though. Popping up here and there, you never knew where you'd find him. Of course, these old buildings, and all sorts of doorways and passageways. I'm sure he knew every one of them. Well, oh, my word, I almost forgot. I, even though it is rather late, I thought it would be all right if you had a real visitor. I'll leave you two alone. Jeffrey. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm OK. So how's your violin playing, Jeffrey? I'm back. <laughs> That's wonderful, Jeffrey. So are you playing your violin? How come you in there? Oh, I have to stay here. I hurt my legs. How does it feel? Oh, it doesn't feel good. Can you come out? No, not for a while. Why? Well, I have to stay here until my legs heal. No! Marley's my sister. Jeffrey, you know I am. I don't like that. Well, thanks a lot. I guess I'll have to find myself a new brother. No, you better not. I won't let you. Jeffrey, I'm choking. You're the best brother anyone could ever have. That's a lie. I know why you're here. You should go. I don't like you anymore. Jeffrey, what's wrong? Something wrong here. We have to leave. Jeffrey, everything's going to be all right. Don't worry. No, it's not all right. I don't want anything to happen to you. I love you. Oh, I love you, too. I miss Mommy and Daddy. I miss them, too. I wish there was someone to watch over us, but there isn't. Just you and me, kid. I guess Christian was right. Whoever he is, you just have to believe. My, what are you doing out of bed? Are you crazy? It's okay. My legs are fine. Look, there's no pain. Oh, don't give me that. Now, get back into bed. You know you're not supposed to be on your feet. Look, I said they're fine. Why don't you just get out of here and leave me alone? Don't talk to me like that, Marley. I'm your sister. I'm just looking out for you. Oh, well, that's a joke. I don't really need your help or your sympathy. What is this? I'm trying to tell her that my legs are fine. They must have healed overnight. Oh, Doc, that is nonsense. Now, get back in bed. Why won't you listen to me? Because you do not understand that the injuries you sustained could take weeks or months to repair themselves. Obviously, she has uh, aggravated the situation by standing too soon. Well, I think she's losing her mind. I am not losing my mind. 
I just can't explain it, but see for yourself, they're fine. Neither of you know what you're talking about. You're both a couple of jokes. No more talk, no more nonsense. Uh, now, this will help you to follow orders and stay in bed. Please leave me alone. Rosalind, why do you let him do this? You are a very ungrateful little girl. I'll try to help you. Mm, I don't feel so good. I could see you more clearly. Where were you, huh? I could have used you a few seconds ago. These people are driving me crazy. I can see. Wait a minute, I can see. The brightness is gone. Everything's clear. This is unbelievable. Pyrocket, can you believe it? I can. Christian. Hi. Whoa. You okay? Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. They just gave me a shot of something. How are your legs? Can you walk? Oh, yeah, they're fine. It's just my head that's been spinning. Now you need some fresh air. Let's get out of this room and this building. Yeah, maybe you're right. Anything would be better than this place. <laughs> Why don't we go to my loft and, uh, try to play some of the things I've written? And you could use a change of scenery. Things you've written? Yeah, I'm a musician, a composer. Mm. I don't have a good track record with musicians. Oh, <laughs> come on. I like it. I think we're gonna get wet. I'll take care of you. You will, huh? You know, I've been hearing stories about you lately. Huh? You believe everything you hear? I don't know what to believe anymore. Believe in me. I spent a lot of time in Europe playing in clubs, but I got restless. So, uh, I had to come back. Maybe I had to come back for you. So, is this where you live now? Uh, when I'm here, this is where I live. Oh, you're so mysterious. <laughs> Can I get you anything? No. That's so wonderful. Feeling this good is a crime. I'm guilty of sin. Ah, uh, you guilty? Never. I'm 
something I want you to hear. Brother Jeffrey, he's a musician. He can play. This is really nice. Thank you. Oh, uh, something new. This melody keeps haunting me. You're so strange. I mean, who are you really? Well, I'm whoever you want me to be. Ask me anything, I can grant you every wish. Oh, you can, can you? I bet you know how to read people's minds, too, huh? Maybe. Well, tell me what I'm thinking. Bitsy spider, that's nothing to be afraid well, of. Well, no, not one. Hundreds, I don't know. Hundreds? Well, let's hope you're hallucinating. No, it's real. Why don't you look for yourself? What is going on here? What are you doing out of bed, young lady? You must stay off your feet. You're so right, sister, but I'm afraid Marley's had a frightful nightmare. Look, I'm telling you what I saw. I wasn't dreaming. Someone put spiders in my bed. Someone? Did you see anyone? No. Molly, do you think someone is following you? Well, no. I mean, yes. I mean, I don't know. Someone had to put them there. Oh, poor dear. She doesn't know what she's saying. <sighs> Paranoid delusions. It's uh, quite usual in cases like this. Oh, Molly. I'm afraid you're unable to cope. No, but that's why I'm here. I can handle everything for her. I'm telling you what I saw. 
Are your eyes all better? Is the blurriness gone? Well, yes, they're fine. What am I trying to convince you for? Why don't you look yourself? You'll see. Wait, wait, listen to me, listen. Now take a deep breath. You've had a terrible nightmare. I said take a deep breath. There. Now don't you feel better? Now, let's take a look at your room. There. You see? Nothing. Nothing. It was just a bad dream. I just don't understand this. I wasn't seeing things. They were on the bed. I think what you need is a good night's sleep, Molly. Uh, don't you agree, Dr. Lasky? Oh, absolutely. All this unnecessary excitement. It isn't doing any of us any good. Look, Molly, unless you take it easy, you are never going to get better. We don't want that, now do we? Come on, now. Come on, the doctor's right. You have to get your rest. So, thank you. You're starting to lose control over yourself. And we can't let that happen. Well, why doesn't anyone believe me? And why do I need another shot? Because, darling, you're not being yourself these days. I don't want any more. What the hell are you giving me? It's for your own good. Rosalind, you're hyperventilating. Hold still. Rosalind, make them stop. Just settle down. We're not trying to hurt you. My word. Enough to wake the devil. Please help me. Sister, may I see you in your office briefly? There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Certainly. Thank you. I'll be there in a few minutes. Sister Marion, Saul, and Roger. Oh, oh, Roger really did himself. Yeah, I wonder where he found all those spiders. Remind me to give him a little reward. Something lacy, perhaps. Oh, stop it. This isn't turning out the way I thought. We could actually be destroying her mind. What are you talking about? You know, how else are you going to get control of the money? I looked in her eyes. She was really scared. Well, of course she's scared. Sometimes I don't know where your mind is. Don't fall apart on me now. Oh, Lasky, I'm so scared. We are in this together. We started together, and we are going to finish together. I am going to see Sister Mary and arrange for Marley to be put under psychiatric care, and then you will be named her legal guardian. So why don't you go to your room and do something with your face?
talk to you. You should be asleep, Jeffrey. I couldn't sleep. They won't let me see you. I can always see you, no matter what. Now tell me, what's wrong? You in danger. What do you mean? Who told you this? The old woman with no eyes. The old woman with no eyes? I don't understand. Down there. She has no eyes. You mean Sister Asia? She's blind. I know. Well, exactly what did she tell you? The mirror is bad. Don't talk to it. Don't ask it for anything. It's bad. She gave me this. Jeffrey, what are you doing with this knife? For the bad mirror. Well, give me this. Marley, it's bad. I'm scared. Don't be scared. This mirror is special. It makes me feel strong. I looked in the mirror. It lied. It's bad. You in danger. Don't be scared. No! Don't lie you. No! It's all right. No one can hurt us, Jeffrey. No one. No one can hurt us. Here, Roger. Come on out where I can see you. You up to your old tricks again, huh? You're pathetic. Go to hell. Get out of here. That's stupid, too. In case something goes wrong, and it will, you're the patsy, man. I know what's going on.
Where is he? He's just like all the rest of them. Never around when you need them. I'm getting awfully tired of him telling me to wait here for him and wait there for him. I'm a person and it's just ridiculous. Oh, joy. Oh, wonderful. This is wonderful. Another beautiful day at the nunnery. You won't get away with it. Injecting your own flesh and blood with drugs to get money. That's attempted murder. And then getting Roger involved in your plan. <laughs> that was a big mistake. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. And if you don't get out of here at once, I'm going to call Sister Marion. <laughs> Go ahead. The wheels are already in motion. Can you stop this before it's too late? I'm going to get it right now. Because you're running out of time. Sister Marion! Sister Marion! I was watching you dance. Didn't want to disturb you. Don't worry. I know what's going on. I won't let them hurt you. Believe me, Christian. Christian! Were you calling for me? Not in this lifetime. There's no one here but the two of us. Here. Let me help you dry off. Just get away from me. You defy me. But it doesn't have to be this way. We could be friends. You're close friends. Hallucinations. Fits of paranoia. You know, your mind is a very delicate balance these days, Molly. It, it could snap just like that. Now, perhaps it would be better if you did go someplace else where they could watch over you 24 hours a day. An institution, perhaps. You wouldn't dare. No one would believe you. I'm fine. You'd just be for a little while. But yeah, we'll never get away with it. You really should let me help you change it. You could catch it. Get out of here before I start screaming. I'll say you tried to rape me. Another delusion? I said get out of here. You could have made this a great deal easier for yourself, but you just will not learn. I suppose it's time for another shot. After this, you won't care who I am. Stop! 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 Oh, now! No, stop no, 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 Get off of Molly. me! Please, get away from me! Molly, no, no, stop! Stop! Molly! Stop! I'm gonna break your arm! Stop! Stop! Please! Stop! Stop! <laughs> I'm scared. Jeffrey, it's going to be all right, okay? It's going to be all right. Marley! The blind lady, she knows. She can help. Talk to her. Marley, you have to talk to her. Sister Asia? Go there now! All right. All right, I'll go. But listen, you go to your room, and I'll come get you after I talk with her, okay? Jeffrey, okay? He's here. You should go. All right, all right. I'll see you in your room. Mr. Asia? Leave me alone. It's Marley Colton. Marley? Yes, I've come to talk to you about the mirror. Yes. There is evil in the mirror. Did the boy tell you? The boy? The innocent one. Did he tell you? Well, yes, he said to come here to talk to you. You are in great danger. 
We all are. There is an evil housed inside the mirror, and it has grown strong. It can change shape. Has it shown itself? I don't know. It can be anything your heart desires. Anything. Even a man, or young, like you. Like me? My age? Yes. He will trick you, deceive you, tell you things you want to hear, make you believe in him. Christian. But he is a liar. He is the demon, and he wants you. And your wishes have made him strong. Well, what can I do? The evil must be destroyed. The boy, the innocent one, he is the one who can destroy it. Now go! Go, before it's too late, go. I would like you! You go before it is too late, go! What are you doing here? I had to see Sister Angel. You had to do no such thing. Sister, something evil is happening around here. Evil? You've been given every chance, but you refuse to obey the rules. Now, I cannot allow that any longer. You have to listen to me. The only thing I have to do, young lady, is to find a place that can handle you. And you're not only hurting yourself, but you caused a major setback to Sister Asia. Thank God I passed by on the way to the chapel. But you don't know what's going on. There's a demon. Sister Asia has been completely withdrawn since the Chandler woman disappeared. Now, we've managed to keep her comfortable until you showed up. You and again that mirror. Well, will you shut up and listen to me? There's something in that mirror. I am not going to hear anything more about that mirror. It drove the Chandler woman mad. And then Asia. And now you. Now, this time, I, I am ending it once and for all. Now, go, go get your brother and start packing. Your sister and Dr. Lasky have plans for you. What? But they're just after the money. Look, I don't even care about that. We have to do something about that mirror. Oh, dear God, you really do need help, Marley. Now, now get going, or I'll pack you myself. And then I'm going to get rid of that mirror. Where the hell is Lasky? We've got to get out of here before everything falls apart. This wasn't my idea. He shouldn't have left me out of the will. I was his best little girl until he married that slut's mother when I was young. Lasky, I'm old and nobody cares. I'm old. Look at those wrinkles. I hate this. I hate this. I'm not young anymore. I'm old. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Paperwork is done. I have the doctor's signature. Look, you're not getting the point. They want the children moved today. What in the world? Uh, yeah, yes, yes, I'm here. I'm... I told you everything is in order. What? Oh, yeah, what? Yes, uh, good, good. I'll, I'll have them waiting by the front door. Yes. Yes, thank you, thank you. Fine, goodbye. What's going on out there? Let me out! Let me out! Please, somebody help me! Whoever is responsible for this commotion had better show themselves right now. If this is a joke, it's gone too far. Marley? Is that you playing games? Oh, no, not 
Sorry, cat. Anything. Lasky and your sister. I don't know what's going on. Marley! I swear you gotta believe me. Oh, yeah, we'll believe this. Thank <laughs> you. 
I wish this was all a dream. What's going on? Where am I? There, there. Now rest yourself. You've been sick with a very high fever. You're going to be fine, Nicolette. Just fine. Nicolette? What are you talking about? I'm Marley Colton. Everything's going to be just fine. You were just having a bad dream. A dream? <gasps> no. The mirror. Oh my God. Nicolette, please. I don't want to hear any more about this mirror. Look. It is just a piece of furniture. Wood and glass. Good and evil do not do battle in mirrors. Oh, don't! It will escape! No! You've got to believe me. This isn't right. I'm Marley Colton. Please! You must settle down. No. Not again. Somebody, please help me. No! Oh, 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 oh,